Welcome back to Lava Tools. Today we're looking at the three-piece aviation snip set. The 48, 22, 45, 33. Instead of a single piece, you get three pieces, a left, a right, and a straight cut. Each of them have a serrated edge uh, for a good grip. They have a safety lock that locks in the middle and stays out of the way and opens up pretty easily. Uh, it's got good rubber grips. This piece has an identifier toward the top that's stamped into the metal and then also it's color coded on the handle. When looking at these there's also the part number in the center and the Milwaukee stamp. Now the left and right angles on these particular snips are not very sharp. They're just kind of a right angle and a left angle. So they're not very, very far to the left or to the right. Um, so if you're looking for something with a little bit more sharpness and a little bit more closer to 90 degree, you probably would want like a 48, 22, 45, 11, which would be, the, be a full 90 degree left cutting snips. The other item I want to talk about is the M12 compact charger. So you can use this in your vehicle if you've got a USB port to charge your M12 batteries. Not very fast, but you can charge them on a portable basis. And if you leave the battery in, you can use the external USB port to charge your phone. Packaging includes a three-foot cable and a wall charger for it. But there's no pouch or anything like that to uh, keep everything together. Now, they say that on average it takes about three hours to charge a two-amp battery. Now, you can also use this uh, as part of your uh, heated jacket system that Milwaukee offers. Now, here I'm just putting in a four just to get a feel for it. It's got lights to give you indication on how well the battery's charged. You can see it's got a good cover on the top to protect the uh, power port. It's got a nice button for the, for the light indicator. As usual with these M12s, it's always a pain trying to get the battery in and out of the slot. So if anybody has any ideas how to get these things a little bit more, should I say, lubricated, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about using some WD-40 or maybe some soap <laughs> to try and uh, get these things to go in and out a little bit easier. The uh, unit has the port on the side for your heated gear, like I mentioned. I don't have one of those jackets, so I can't test it for you, but I will be testing it for the battery usage and also for charging uh, cell phones and the like, because I'm always running out of juice on my phone, so we'll give it a try. Hey, so thank you for visiting Lava Tools, and we'll catch you out next time. See ya.